Hello and welcome to the Friday edition of Beer Bros. Today we conclude with our final Cellus beer. It makes me kind of sad. Oh. I like Cellus. So for our final beer of the week, once again from Cellus, we have Cellus East Coast IPA, which is uh, Citrus Grandis. And being East Coast, this is once again going to be a juicy IPA as opposed to a wildly piney mm -hmm. Northwest IPA. Okay. All right. So tell me about this. Oh, you don't know because there's no information out there. Yeah, and this was newly released. I will say that this week, Celis is making an appearance for the first time in Houston since its resurrection. Mm. So, and so they're backing up in that ass with the resurrection? Pretty much. So they're, they've been gradually expanding out from Austin. They hit us first, and now Houston. Okay. Is that us? So you just gonna, <coughs> can tell people where we are? Yeah, we're somewhere... In the Texas area. Surprise! Harvey's address is. Go ahead, tell. I ain't scared. None of you. All right, so let's take a look at this. This is very clear. It looks uh, mostly filtered, maybe a little bit. Yeah. Slight haze to it. Gentle okay. effervescing and. Gentle. Pad. Mine's going. <clears throat> Half a finger of fetish. Yeah, it looks. Mine's pretty active. Is yours? Mine's not as active. Okay, let's go ahead and give it a smell. Ooh. I actually do get some piney IPA hints. Yeah, it's very IPA. Very piney. Kiss with citrus, East Coast IPA transports you to typical to tropical. Pine says Zaka hops, Caribbean inspired brew, juicy citrus, and hazy golden depths. Okay. Okay. So everything you seem to say in the beginning was correct according to the label, but it's very piney in smell. Yeah, which is interesting. Piney aroma. I don't know. I don't see if they have any of the big sea hops on there, the Cascade or so forth. I'm not familiar enough with the Zaka to know if that's where the pininess is coming from. Let's go ahead and give it a taste. Clinky drinky. All right. Piney with a citrus, mm -hmm. piney front end that melts into citrus going down. Very well blended. Mm -hmm. Once again, kind of like the one we had last week. Another IPA. I think this is a step above the one we had last week. Okay, okay. As far as like someone getting their feet wet in this whole game. Okay. This would be a good one. Definitely not as bitter or... No, the citrus kind of kills any bitterness. Okay. It just blends right into it, so it's like, eh, and then, eh. Okay. Use your words. Eh, and then, eh. Eh. Mm. Eh. But, not eh in taste. It's actually, hmm. But, eh. Not close. Hmm. So then, of these three, the Celis White, the Celis Bach, or the Citrus IPA, which was your favorite Celis of the week? Um, Celis... Very impressed by Celis. Okay. Glad they're back in back in business. We needed them, right? Yeah. Yeah, we needed them. They were, they were very good. All all three were very, 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 very impressive. Okay. All right. So um, I'm gonna go with. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go with the Bach. Okay. Just because I don't know. That was the best out of the three. All three were excellent, though. I mean, you can't lose with it, you, anyone that you pick. Okay. All okay. three were winners. That sounds good. Yeah, so um, I n now know why they brought them back, because they're really f***ing <coughs> good. Okay. Yeah. So then, with that, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you're watching on YouTube, ring the bell. Because that way... Take them home. You get notified every time we post a new show. And if you're watching on Facebook, be sure to share us with all your friends so that... Everybody gets to know who we are. So until next week, Beer Bros out.